This is Palm Beach TV on Sunday Morning, a production of the Palm Beach Civic Association. I'm Christina Nicholson, and coming up next... Meet a nine-year-old girl who's wowing people with the way she tickles the ivories. Hear it for yourself next. Plus, we go back to our annual awards breakfast to hear what members and guests thought about our Monday sit-down with Willie Geist. In our 78th season, the Palm Beach Civic Association brings you Palm Beach TV and our Sunday newscast. In the next few minutes, you'll meet some colorful members of our community as we show you the unique lifestyle of the island. Not too long ago, a nine-year-old girl wowed one of the directors at the Palm Beach Civic Association. So we joined her here at the Society of Four Arts to see how amazing she is at the piano. Meet Alexandra Sasha Deshavaya. She is a nine-year-old from Russia who's been coming to Palm Beach County since she was just one and a half for medical treatment, staying at Quantum House, where Palm Beach Civic Association Director George Kohan takes his Golden Retriever service dogs. And on my birthday, I was in Quantum House, and she said, let me play happy birthday for you. I thought, play happy birthday for me? Do you know how to be six years old, five years old? And she was incredible on the piano. The sound, it's really, it, it's comforting. <laughs> it comforts me and um, it's just a pleasure to play. Sasha has won multiple competitions over the years. One even has her headed to play in Carnegie Hall this summer. So she continues to practice here at the Society of the Four Arts nearly every day. Well, if you can play in Carnegie Hall, you can certainly entertain people at the Four Arts. So in this room with over 100 people, you could have heard a pin drop. She was magnificent. Everyone was awed. If you see some gift that is given to your child, it means you are responsible as a parent to develop it and do your best as a parent to let her grow in her full potential. With her mother, Irina Belova, at a recent local get-together, something very special helped her grow even more, an impromptu duet with multi-platinum award winner, Josh Groban. moment Sasha became a fan of the singer, songwriter, musician, actor, and record producer. First I just thought okay it's just a person that I don't know and I just was okay with it and then uh, my mom showed me videos with his songs. It, they were amazing and then I understood that it was a great honor <laughs> to accompany. <laughs> Thank you. 
So what's next for young, talented Sasha? Well, of course I want to be a piano player. <laughs> Maybe be in concerts or teach kids. And also I like singing. I go here to the Young Singers Choir. I really love to sing and I, when I grow older, I, I want to be a singer too. <laughs> Just where we go. Couple her passion and practice, I think it's safe to say this is not the last time you will hear from Sasha Deshavaya. The Palm Beach Civic Association established a new committee, the Membership Committee. The Membership Committee will broaden awareness of the vital role that the Civic Association plays in Palm Beach by protecting and enhancing the quality of life on the island. The committee is looking for creative ways to reach new residents and younger families that are increasingly part of the town's changing makeup and future. I went, oh my God. <laughs> In a sold-out room of 300, today's show anchor Willie Geist had Palm Beach Civic Association members and guests at our annual awards breakfast last month chuckling all morning. I love the Danny DeVito with the building uh, particles coming down. <laughs> that was just one of many stories Geist told about his Sunday sit-down segments on NBC. We had Danny DeVito in a restaurant and they were building a new apartment complex on top of us. They were not stopping. So literally true, they were drilling upstairs. I'm sitting like you and I are with Danny DeVito. Plaster starts falling <laughs> onto the table between us and the pro that he is, he made some ad lib joke about it and they weren't gonna stop and we only had an hour with Danny DeVito so we powered through it. <laughs> and if you watch the tape, there's little powder falling between us. <laughs> it, it almost looks celebratory in some way, like confetti. Their paths never crossed at the network when Palm Beach Civic Association Chairman and CEO Bob Wright was the CEO at NBC, but both were honored to share the stage together all these years later. Well, I'm very happy to do that. <laughs> no, it's, I'm, very, I'm very pleased. I don't think we could have done better. And he's, he's, he's going to be around a long time. And Geist will also be inspiring many for a long time, like Palm Beach Atlantic University journalism student, Daniela Para. The biggest thing that really stuck out to me was how willing he was to take risks and to just go for it. I think that really shows everybody else that they're capable of so many things if you just take the opportunities that are given to you and just go for it. Guy said taking a risk and jumping on the anchor desk at MSNBC's Morning Joe was what led to his big break and had the audience thinking about their own big breaks too. My whole life has been a big break story, right? I mean, that's how it is. You really, you, you try to make a plan and it never goes that way. And it's almost like, uh, you know, you just have to dive in with both feet when a door opens and you don't know what's going to be on the other side. And then it creates this incredible opportunity every time. And guys took this opportunity to leave the Breakers ballroom with some hope. Like I always tell my kids who are growing up in this world of, ah, we're divided and all that. There's so much more light than dark. It's not even close in our world. And I don't think we're as divided as the country is portrayed to be. To hear more from Willie Geist, listen to the Q&A session with him, and watch the full event, just log on to our website, palmbeachcivic.org. This is the first time since 2019 that the annual awards breakfast has been enjoyed in person. That season, the William J. Bill Brooks Community Service Award was awarded to Robert Niederlander with keynote speaker Stephen Schwartzman, Civic Association Director and CEO and co-founder of Blackstone at the home of Michelle and Howard Kessler. In 2020, Palm Beach Civic Association Chairman Bob Wright and President Mary Robeson presented this well-deserved tribute to philanthropists, the late J. Ira Harris and his wife, Nikki Harris. Former FBI Director Louis Free was the keynote speaker at the virtual event. And this season, the Honorable Gail Coniglia was presented the William J. Bill Brooks Community Service Award by Vice Chair Michael Pusillo before our Monday sit-down with Willie Geist. 
Join us for the Palm Beach Civic Association annual meeting featuring a review of our 78th season and the mayor's State of the Town address. A champagne reception will follow in the beautiful Flagler Museum Grand Hall. Reservations are required for the event on Monday, April 11th at 10 a.m. The event is sponsored by Palm Beach Island Hospice Foundation. That is our newscast this Sunday morning. Make sure you are on our email list and following us on social media so you don't miss a thing. I'm Christina Nicholson. Palm Beach TV is a production of the Palm Beach Civic Association. We thank our sponsor, the Fortin Foundation of Florida, and encourage you, our viewers, to let us know how we can provide news coverage that best serves our members and residents. Thank you.